Kamusta mga pirata, Leon here and today I will be teaching you guys how to create colorful text in Photoshop. So for this tutorial, uh, I will be creating like some sort of birthday card because th that is like one of the most practical uses for this technique in Photoshop. So let's begin guys. Now first, let's make a canvas that is uh, like a standard size, like more or less uh, short bond paper. So that will be 11 inches by 8.5 inches. Click OK. And then now what we have to do is we have to create the background for the image first. So click U for the like rectangle tool, U. Just create whatever shape you want. Then click Ctrl T. So let's turn the width of that into 5.5. And the height should be 8.5 inches. There we go. Click Enter. And there we go. Just put that onto the right side of your canvas. And then make sure it is color white. There we go. Alright, now that you have that, what we have to do is blending options. Just put a stroke on it. Okay, so that we can see the center line of your canvas. So, half of that is going to be where we are going to write the text. So, go ahead and create your text. Also, make sure that your foreground color is white. Alright, now to create the text. For the text, we would be using some sort of calligraphy style font. So for this font, I will be using Beyond the Mountains. Okay, so the Beyond the Mountains font, I downloaded this off the internet. Um, I usually find my fonts in the font.com. I'll, I'll put the website here. So that is like a free resource for those of you who want really cool font styles. It's also free, which is super awesome, guys. So what you have to do is just type what you have to type okay so let's just make the text black for for the purposes of this video happy birthday all right now that you're happy with that just drag that to the other side make sure it's above your first layer and there we go all right now that you have dragged that to the other side of the canvas Control t to adjust it there we go just adjust it to the size you want happy birthday now, what we are going to do is we are going to turn the text white. So highlight the text, turn it white. Okay, so you can't see it right now, but later you will be able to see it. Alright, so click another new layer. Let's rename that layer color. Alright, now click Alt to apply that layer onto your happy birthday text. Alt, and then click the brush tool. So what we are going to do is we are going to paint over the text. So let's choose our first color. I think I'll make a pink boom and magic guys you can see all right so make sure your brush size is about uh, the same diameter as your letters and also make sure that the brush hardness is at 0% okay so there we go that's our first color let's choose our second color so somewhat pinkish all right so I'm just gonna fast forward this whole process guys because I might be taking a long while to choose colors And there we go guys so now that we have that whole happy birthday text and if you're happy with the colors just stick with it if you're not just paint over it again okay so I'm pretty much happy with these colors what we have to do is create a new group all right so let's rename that group colored text okay all right guys so in Photoshop organization really is the key to a faster workflow so organize your things in folders okay so now that we have our text in Let's put the text and the color inside that folder so that we can just invisibilize it anytime we want. And there we go. Um, pretty much happy with that. So we'll just locate it somewhere around two thirds of our whole canvas. There we go. And there. All right. So I think that's perfect. It's just a little bit of adjustment. All right, guys. So if you're happy with that kind of uh, minimalistic card design, um, good. But for me, I still need something else more because, you know, it's birthday-ish and it's a little bit more celebratier or something. We're, we are going to add some vector graphics. So this next part, I'm going to teach you guys how to create your custom vector, vector, custom vector. I mean, how to create custom vector graphics. Okay, so create a new folder. Let's rename it gift because for this 
full vector graphics things, we are going to be creating gift boxes. Alright, so now that you have gift, let's just uh, create new layer and then click the pen tool. Make sure the pen tool is in shape layers, guys. You wouldn't want it to be on paths because it wouldn't really fill within the shape of the your pen selection. Okay, so shape layers. Then let's pick a color. Uh, I think red, reddish. A reddish gift is always a good gift. So for me, I always choose the gifts that are wrapped in the red gift wrappers first. Because, you know, red is really somewhat draws your attention. Maybe that's why they created the graphic light red or Anyways guys, going back going back to topic, I, I went a little whew, way off topic right there. So let's create our gift box. Boom, 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 boom. So we are going to create like a 3D gift box. Alright, so if you're not happy with the selections you've made with the pen tool, just click control, drag on the points you want to adjust. Let's drag that point right so. You're there. Pretty happy with that shape. Okay, so that will be the outline of our gift box, guys. Now, what you have to do is click Ctrl J to copy that. And let's make this a little bit lighter. Alright, so this, let's name this like side 1. Alright, so side 1 will be like the area of the box that is being exposed to light or where the light hits the box. So it will be a little bit lighter. Alright, so now what we want to do is click on the points we want to subtract. So this point here, this point here, and boom, click enter. So right now our box is looking a little bit more 3D. Now we have to add our um, ribbons. So for the ribbons, uh, I really like white ribbons on our red gift box. It really looks awesome. So just make the ribbon like so. Boom. Okay. Just make that thicker on top a little bit. Create another new layer. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go, our box has ribbons. Okay, so let's invisibilize our shape one and our background so that we can see the curvy ribbon we're going to make. So make a new layer, drag that below your shape two. Now click, click, click on the middle to make it an arc. And then drag those ear thingies. Let's just make another arc below. If you guys aren't following, just rewind this whole video and watch watch this part again. I'll just I'll just making a speed run of how to make a box. Okay, guys. So this tutorial is going supposed to be a super quick way for you guys to make uh, some sort of rush birthday card. <coughs> Need water. Wait, I'm I'm gonna get water, guys. All right, get my water. As I was saying, guys, this whole tutorial is supposed to be like. A quick way how to make a super fast birthday card so that's the premise of the video there we go now that you're happy with your ribbon just adjust those points a little bit let's make it make the ribbon a little bit tighter a little bit tighter and press enter all right now that you have one ribbon uh, we'll just copy that because we're too lazy to make a new ribbon Control J drag that to the other side Control T to transform it make it a little bit bigger and let's flip it horizontally so that it doesn't look like we just copied the first ribbon we made make it a little bit larger and then enter and then boom you have a gift all right so now what we're going to do is uninvisibilize our shape one in our background and as you can see our gift the ribbons of our gift vanished so what we are going to do is duplicate this group duplicate group so just right click on the group Right click on the group and then duplicate group, gift copy, I think that name is fine. And then click on the gift copy. Oh wait, before doing that, uninvisibilize the gift group. Alright, so click, click, click gift copy and then click all the shapes we made a while ago and then merge layers. So that's gonna turn all those vector images to like raster images so you could apply blending options or any kind of filter to it. So what we have to do is right click blending options we are going to apply drop shadow to make the gift thing pop more or just differentiate from the white background guys drop shadow and then what I like to drop shadow is more or less 130 degrees angle and then the distance uh, around 17 let's spread it a little bit and the size 
all right and let's make the opacity slightly not that not that dark maybe 32 percent and voila you have your first gift so for this one for this card i'm going to put the gift like somewhere on the bottom of the card right here all right so let's bring that gift Control t and there we go so we have a gift picking from the corner and then let's make another gift so a shortcut this is a shortcut guys Control j to copy that gift drag it and then we are just going to change the color of that gift so what you have to do is click on hue and saturation there we go and click alt so that it only applies to the gift you copied so let's rename this gift 2 all right so we're going to turn gift 2 into some sort of green color so just adjust hue to your desired all right there we go so now that it's green oh whoops now that it's green we can now move it around click ctrl t to transform it let's make it a little bit smaller let's like flip horizontally all right there we go i think i'm gonna move gift one a little bit up let's rename that to gift one so that you guys don't get confused okay gift one let's rotate that a little bit there we go gift two and then let's create another gift so let's rename this uh, wrong bring that down let's rename this gift three okay let's change the hue let's make that color blue forgot to apply that to the gift tree layer so always apply it And there we go all right so i think my gift boxes don't really look like gift boxes they look like a bunch of weird popcorn popcorn boxes anyways you guys get the point that is how to make a quick birthday gift so uh, in this video i probably taught you way too many things that you needed to know since the title of the video is how to make colored text in photoshop uh, but that's just uh, additional bonus how to make vector graphics of a gift maybe for your birthday card you could also make vector graphics of a balloon or something okay so maybe i'll teach you guys that next time uh, we are running out of time this video is probably like 100 minutes long all right guys so that is my video i hope uh, i inspired you guys to create more and do more with photoshop so that's basically how to create colored texts with a little bit of uh, vector doodling down there um, that's this it's just something quick you could do at your spare time photoshop is really a great tool to create any images you could create this kind of image right here or this kind of images right here or any type of images that you could imagine so sky's the limits with the photoshop guys you don't really need a great computer or like the latest photoshop this photoshop is like the one i'm using right now is photoshop cs4 so it's not really the most advanced but i could be able to create any images within my imagination just need a little bit of exploring so I hope this video is helping you guys with your Photoshop journey and uh, um, basically with Photoshops in general. So, okay, so the purpose that I'm creating these videos is to spread my knowledge with you guys and so that uh, you guys would learn more and thus explore more. Because when I was starting with Photoshop, I really had a very hard time creating things because I lacked uh, proper training and basic training in Photoshop. So that made me scared to do things in Photoshop and when you're scared, uh, you really cannot progress because there's like fear in the back of your mind But with this um, whole tutorial series that I'm doing I hope I am hold holding your hands that that sounds weird I hope that I am helping you guys get rid of that fear and be able to overcome the Challenges I make Photoshop sound like some sort of life challenge. It's not it's very easy guys if you just stick to the basics and once we get through the basics we are going to the advanced lessons and when we hit advanced boy what kind of images you would make you'd be able to make much better images that i am doing right now guys i guarantee you so 100 percent if you put in the work in this photoshop tutorial training guys or basically any art form or anything that you want to do if you put in the work um it's gonna be easy peasy or it's not really easy peasy because 
if you like what you're doing guys it, it won't seem like work it's it's gonna be super fun so for me photoshop is super fun this doesn't feel like work at all or doing architectural stuffs because uh, in real life i am an architect so i do architectural stuffs it doesn't feel like i'm working it feels like i'm playing so that makes uh, working so much easier and so much fun so i hope that photoshop is fun for you guys if it isn't maybe watch more of my tutorials or subscribe if you subscribe photoshop will instantly become fun for you guys i guarantee not really <laughs> anyways i hope you like this video guys if you did please like leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more photoshop tutorials i will see you guys on my next video flying peace